So I want to talk to you about creating a huge future for your life. And you know, there's a subject that we're all, a lot of us are numb to, it's goal setting. I'm not talking about goal setting. I'm really going to talk about like, how do you get a bigger vision? How do you create, how do you cast vision for your life? And you know, I, I get that question, uh, I guess about a couple of times a week. And this will answer for a lot of you is, you know, I think one of the biggest things that helped me expand my vision, because when I was growing up, I had a really, really small vision. Let me tell you how small my vision was. My mother would rarely take me to church. And when she did take me to church and they would pass around the offering plate, in my head, now mind you, I'm sharing with you how small my vision was, right? So my, the, the offering plate is coming down the aisle and in my head, I'm thinking, wow, what if I got a dollar from everybody in the room? I'd be rich. I wasn't even thinking about putting anything in the offering plate because we didn't have anything, right? So I just, I didn't understand what was going on. I just didn't get the whole giving concept and all of that. And so that's how small my vision was. And so how did I get a bigger vision? How do people get a bigger vision? Well, they get around people of vision. They get around people that have bigger thoughts, that think about bigger things. You know, think about the Wright brothers. They were not rational in their thinking. They were irrational in their thinking, right? It's like, okay, we're going to take man and put him in a vehicle of some sorts and fly like birds. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, okay, we're going to flick a switch and all of a sudden the room's going to light up. I mean, think about those thoughts, right? And Marconi talking about wireless and stuff. They thought he was crazy. Like how, how are things going to go through the air, right? And so I think one of the, one of the first books that really got me stretching my thinking was the magic of thinking big. That was an incredible book. And if you haven't read that in the last five or 10 years, I would read that book again. And then, Hey, if you haven't read my book yet, go ahead and read that too, right? So it's kind of a, a version of that, but it's really about keeping our thoughts fresh and being around people of vision. Because one of the things that's really helped me too is see books will only go so far. I think one of the most impactful ways to learn and stretch your vision is going to some sort of a live event where there's music and energy and people that you interact with and that you're having conversations with and you're hearing about what they're working on and what they want from their lives. And you're like comparing that in a way to kind of what you want. So what's happened for me is it stretched me, you know, and I, and I got around people that thought bigger than me. And that's what I strive to do all the time. That's why I still go to seminars. I go to learn because I love to teach, but I also go to grow too, right? And so if you haven't made it to a live event of some sorts, I would find out when the next live event is of the company you attend, the company you work for, or some sort of you know personal development seminar or something where you can interact with people and learn from a mentor from stage and really just get get amongst them right get amongst the big visionaries because that's what but it's not just doing it one time it's it's having a a schedule for that see just like we schedule our workout or we schedule our meals or we schedule whatever appointments at work you need to schedule your success right because time is a vacuum if you don't schedule it time just goes away right i mean how many of us have been at the end of a day we're like wow where'd, where'd today go man i didn't have time for all the stuff that i wanted to do right why well a lot of it's because we didn't prioritize something or we didn't block time for it, right? So you need to block time for your success and for your mind and for your brain. And so you need to find out when the next thing is. It, 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 do that at least every quarter, right? That's what I do because I find that if I don't go to live events or I don't surround myself with the right people, if I don't listen to the right MP3s or podcasts or, or read the books, my, 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 my thinking gets a little, I like to say, impotent. It just, it just doesn't, it's not as big. It's doesn't, it doesn't just have that spark with those ideas. And you know, a lot of us, we get ideas in the shower or we're listening to music or we're listening to something or we're driving down the car or we're listening to some sort of a personal development CD or something. And so continue to do that. This might just be a reminder. You might already be doing it. If you're watching this video, you're probably already doing it, but maybe you need to ratchet it up a little bit more. Maybe you need to get a little bit rigorous with your curriculum. You know, maybe you just like to, you did when you were in college. Right? I think a lot of people want to become wealthy, but they're not willing to put in the work, right? And a lot of people stop reading books when they leave high school or college because they're not doing it for a grade, right? Well, guess what? Unfortunately, in today's society, one of the grades is finances, right? If you don't have a lot of finances, there's not a lot of things you can do, right? I know that's just one thing, but there's several things, but I'm just saying that 
income follows your personal growth, right? So let's continue to grow, let's continue to learn, and let's continue to get around people of vision, right? So hopefully this will help you get to your next intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.